Welcome to Cornell Cooperative Extension's Choose Local Fish, Local Seafood Cooking Demonstration videos. By choosing locally harvested fish, you can be sure that your food is fresh, indigenous, sustainable, and healthy. Each purchase of local seafood supports the economic viability of fishermen, local fishing communities, and small businesses. So let's join culinary nutritionist Stephanie Sachs in the kitchen as she shows you how to prepare this locally caught fish. So here's our waiting. So whiting's an interesting fish, um, not a ton of meat, so I tried to get a little creative and we're gonna do blackened whiting tacos. So I'm gonna lay these clean fillets on the baking sheet right here. And you can easily buy a pre-made blackened mix, which I'll show you in a moment, or you can make your own, which I'm also gonna show you. Preheating my oven to 350. Um, to make your own blackened mix, I'm using white pepper, onion powder, uh, paprika, garlic powder, red chili pepper, and then oregano. And then also I have this here, which is just a pre-made blackened mix that you can also opt into. So I'm gonna mix everything in a bowl. Gosh, the spices are so potent. Look how beautiful that is. I like to use my hands when I cut them. And I encourage you all to do the same, and I'm gonna douse the fillets with olive oil. So this is just an extra virgin olive oil, and I use this frequently in cooking. And then we're just going to spread the blackened mixture onto these fillets. It's a very, very flavorful mixture. So you'll end up with a delicate fish with a strong, spicy flavor, which is actually perfect for a taco. It's that simple. And again, you can use other fish for this as well. And then it's going to go in the oven. Probably gonna cook it for about 10 minutes, maybe 15. There you have it. So, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. This is what the whiting looks like. Absolutely beautiful. And it smells so good. And this is a really, really simple dish. So, I'm heating some corn tortillas right now, which I'm gonna pull over here in about a second. And I'm gonna shred some Napa cabbage you can use romaine lettuce, you can use some cabbage, um, whatever you have around, whatever you fancy. And so I have this, and then I'm gonna use some salsa, and you can use any brand that you like. Um, so we're gonna use that. These are some corn tortillas and avocado. So. Now we're gonna build our taco. We're gonna take some of the fish, just like so. And some of the whiting, you'll see there are bones, so you just wanna be careful as you pull it off and pick out what bones you see. It's very, very delicate fish, very delicate. So, just like that. And then you can take some of your lettuce or cabbage in this case. And you can take some salsa as well. And then just top it with some avocado. Like so. And if you want to make guac, you can do that too. So this is your taco, just like this. Mm. That's good. Super simple, straightforward way to work with whiting. Thank you for choosing Local Fish. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, please check out the description below for links to more information about local fish species, more recipes, where you can purchase this local fish, and a lot more. Thank you.